When we opened this uh, Steeplechase Cancer Center back in 2007, we built it on a foundation of hope. We committed to offering state-of-the-art technology, advanced treatment for the latest research studies, and to give our patients hope for a cure. <clears throat> Today, I think uh, we're going to try and extend that commitment to hope. Uh, hope for improving quality of life, hope for an opportunity to fulfill a lifelong dream, whether it's to see the birth of a grandchild or perhaps to celebrate a milestone. Uh, today, this center is, uh, again, going to um, hear from Congressman Leonard Lance in terms of how he is also trying to forge forward with that uh, commitment to hope for cancer patients. The new law is simple. It requires the National Cancer Institute, the NCI, to develop a long-term strategic plan for developing better treatments and potential cures for the deadliest of cancers, such as pancreatic cancer and lung cancer. Under our new law, the NCI will be charged with developing its first two plans for pancreatic and lung cancer and will develop these through working groups of federal and non-federal entities. Researchers will then be able to take advantage of all of the existing projects, bringing together research across many disciplines that show promise to treat the forms of some of the deadliest cancers that have thus far not been given the attention they deserve. Until now, this common sense approach simply did not exist. The new law is a major step in the right direction. And while we still don't know the cause or cure of many cancers, we remain steadfast in our commitment to helping those afflicted with these types of cancers and our common cause to fight and continue to fight. We have seen firsthand um, the benefits of research studies and the improvement for our patients with cancer, and we are proud to be part of that clinical breakthrough that occurs through our affiliation, actually, with the Cancer Institute of New Jersey. But as much as we are doing at the local level, it is important, extremely important, that there is a commitment at the federal level. And we can certainly see that uh, in attacking most of these deadly cancers. So we applaud Congressman uh, Lance for his leadership in passing this legislation, and to all those who actually have participated with you on that struggle. Representative Lance, we are so extremely grateful to you for everything that you have done for the pancreatic cancer community. You've raised the national visibility of this disease and you've created a law that's truly going to help to change the course of history for pancreatic cancer. It takes a particular kind of person to champion this cause because a lot of people want to run away from it as far as they can get. But we know that uh, if it's going to change for people in the future, you know, that we have to be here and take these steps now. And I know that for my husband, if he had been a part of making a life, giving someone the hope that he had fought so hard for would be his high, highest honor. My husband, Patrick, fought so hard to live, fought very hard for hope. And uh, just because he's gone didn't mean the fight was over. And I'm carrying that on for him.